this camp different than another? Just be, I mean, new coaching staff, different attitude. I'm not saying better or worse, just different. Everything. Uh, I went home the other night and I was talking to a few of my family and I was talking to them. They're like, well, how's camp going for you? And I was like, it's like year one. Um, <laughs> everything's new, new defense, new coaches, new players. Um, same field, same old golden blue, but uh, it's different, you know? So You've been around long enough. The NCAA rules have changed somewhat on you in terms of camp. Does camp seem as hard as it did in the early days? Yeah, so, you know, as you as you age, like, just take NCAA rules out of it first off. Um, it's different as you get older. Uh, a lot of times, like, you're just trying to jump on the horse, per se, as soon as you get here. But now uh, it's nitpicking at the little things. And so some of those improvements come from – um, being nitpicky, so that's hard. Um, so it's just a different type of tired. Now, on the NCAA portion, um, it's not easier, nor is it harder. Um, it's just different because when I first got here, we were able to bang more, and so your body was more sore, your body was more tired, but we had more off time because we needed it because we banged so much. Now, um, there's a whole lot less off time. Um, you can be here from 6.45 a.m. till 9.30 at night, most of us are. Um, but we're not banging as much. We're out there for an hour and a half, uh, getting good work in, and we're here for some other stuff, you know. So it's it's not good, bad. It's just different, um, and they're both just as exhausting mentally, physically. Um, they're just different. Do you have to learn in a different way in terms of more film study, more classroom, because you're maybe not on the field quite as long, so you have to pick it up in a different way? Absolutely. So since we have less time to practice, it's extremely imperative that we take what we learn in film and apply it immediately because we only get so much time on the field. So when we're on the field, it's time to implement our corrections instead of correct on the field. So uh, it's a little bit tricky and, you know, it's one of those things where you have to buy in and you have to be like, okay, I'm out here for an hour and a half. I have to give it 110%. Uh, I'm going to be tired after this, but um, that's what I have to do and you have to implement it immediately. Reese, you talk about corrections. What are some things that you think this defensive line still needs to correct over the next couple weeks? Consistency. Um, we see huge flashes of playing phenomenal, and then we'll see some flashes of maybe not bad, but not to our full potential. So uh, I think that we've come a long way in being consistent because we're not you know, through the roof, and we're also not – doing horrible at times but I think that for us the the major key to us improving and continuing on from here is consistency um, and just bringing those lows not as low what have you seen out of Taj so far what do you think he can add to this defense oh he's a phenomenal player uh, I could talk about everybody on the D-line as well and everybody at that position but Taj specifically he is very talented he brings a lot to the table for us he's a good speed guy length size and uh, for him just getting here I say just getting here as if he hasn't been here long but um, you know this being his first year here uh, he's done very well I think he has adapted to everything that's happened so far um, he, he could be a very good player this year and in years to come. He's just got to keep improving.